Good morning everyone, it's Tutorial Tuesday and this week I want to show you guys how to do the knockout method in Cricut Design Space. I've already done a video on this but I've seen quite a few people lately having some issues figuring it out since the update has happened. So I just want to show you guys using the new update um, after the layers panel has changed a little bit. So what I like to do first, and if you've never watched one of my videos before, you can easily find my mouse by looking for that circle. I'm going to pick some text and I just like to type in um, love. You can choose whatever you want, home, mom, uh, whatever your preference is. And I'm going to make it bigger so it's easier for you guys to see. I'm using the Eagle Bold font. It is a Cricut font and I really like it because it's nice and thick and it gets really, really good um, it's really great for background. Okay, so now the most common font that people use for the knockout method is I love glitter. So I'm going to go ahead over back to my text and there's a um, there are some computer keys that you can use to get the special flourishes and stuff. I will include um, how to use them in the description and I'll also share a photo so that you guys can see how to get them. But I'm going to do it on the screen so you'll be able to follow along. So I'm just going to type these in and once we change the font you'll be able to see um, that these characters will go to the flourishes and the heart in the center that you want. So I'm going to switch it to I Love Glitter And you'll see if you've never worked with text in Cricut Design Space before how each letter is separated and that's just how the software reads it because it reads as each um, each letter as an individual object. So what I like to do first is go up to my letter space up here and I like to decrease that as much as I can. It makes it much easier when um, when doing the letter spacing first so that when you do go to ungroup it's um, it's much, it's much less work. Okay, so now I've noticed that most of my stuff is touching, not all of it. So we will have to move a few things and that's okay. Now I've already done this, so I'll unhide my copy in a second, but what you'll do is you will ungroup it and then you'll move each individual letter. Now a little thing that I like to do, I can see that these letters here, T, I, E, in the right flourish are already pretty connected, but they're not connected to the A. So I like to go and select just these ones. And if you hold the shift key on your keyboard, you can move these over without worrying that it's going to go up and down and everywhere it's going to still line it up neatly. So I'm going to do that. Now once you've connected everything, uh, the way you want it, you'll select all and weld it. Now you weld for cursive fonts so it doesn't cut out each individual letter, it cuts it out as one piece. So for this purpose, I'm going to group it and I'm going to hide it and then I'm going to pull up the one that I already completely did and welded so we can save some time. Now, what we have to do in order to create the shadow for it that we're going to knock out of the word love, we need to, um, we're going to print it. So what I'm going to do is go up to my uh, line type and fill, and I'm going to change my fill to print. And you will notice now in my layers panel here, it says cut and print. Now, when you do this, because of the print and cut size limitations, you have to remember that. So I already adjusted my size to six and a half inches wide. You'll be able to change it once we upload it back to anything that you want, but for now, it has to be within the limitations of the print and cut, which is six and three quarters wide and nine and one quarter high. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the love just to make it easier. I'm going to uh, select make it and it's going to go to the print screen. I'm going to hit continue. I have to turn my machine on and send to printer. Now what we're going to do here, and this is a little tricky, we're going to right click on it, save image as, and just save it wherever. I already have one from my old one, um, for my old video, so I'm going to just do um, save it as a two, push save, and then we can go ahead and cancel this, and cancel our whole cut. And then we'll go back here and this we're going to save it. So we'll unhide love 
I'm going to change this one back to cut um, or no fill. And I'm going to change the color of it just um, to make it easier. Okay, so now what we're going to do in order to get our shadow layer, so we're going to go to upload. We're going to select upload image and we're going to browse. I'm going to pull up my bleed to I select complex always. I think it's just easier. Continue. Um, we're going to go to the upper right hand corner here with the zoom in. It's a little difficult to see, but we're going to choose the select and erase. And you're going to want to get everything out of there. This is a, um, you can undo it. Um, now, because this is your shadow layer, the way it is, it will be fine. Um, you're going to want to delete the background and your black box here. Now, you can um, you can crop it around this black box and make that a little bit easier. There you go. Now, select continue, and you want to save this as a cut. I'm going to copy and paste my image name so it's easier and we're going to save it. Okay, now that we have it saved, I'll pull it right from our upload recently uploaded images and insert it. But if you um, choose to upload it and do it at a different time, you can go back to your images here and search for it. It's fine. Oops. All right, now we're going to make this large and I'm going to change the color on this too to make it easier for us to see. And you're going to line this up how you want it to cut out of your design. This looks about good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select my original one, go to Arrange and send to Front, and I'm going to change that color to Purple. Again, just to make it easier. And I'm going to make it the size um, to match up within my shadow here. And that's really important. It just makes it so much easier to size it beforehand than to try and fit it back in afterwards. So now that that's resized, I'll move it up here. I'm going to select the pink layer and my love. So my shadow layer and my word. I'm going to select them both. Now, I use the shift key on my computer and I selected both. You can select them in the layers panel. You can drag around a box around both. It will select them, whichever you'd like. And I'm going to slice. Okay. And now that I've sliced, I'm going to um, remove all of the pieces that I don't want or don't need. I'm going to move this back up here. and then move this in. And that's how you do the knockout method. It's really, really easy.